guys, welcome back to my garden. I am so excited to see you all. I know I've been gone for quite some time, not only from my YouTube, but also from my Instagram page, and I feel like I am so behind. So, I felt like I was getting a head start on the season. We planted up a lot of beautiful containers, you know, early fall containers at the end of the summer, and I felt like I had a head start on the season. But you guys, I work out of town, and that is the reason for my absence. I know so many of you were reaching out via Instagram messages, and I also had some of you guys even reach out and, you know, comment on my latest video, like, hey, where are you? We've been missing you, and I want you guys to know that I miss you too, and I have never been so excited to get back in my garden. Literally, when I got home, I took my luggage in the house, and then I posted to Instagram to let everyone know that I was back and that I was doing okay. And I also let them know over on my Instagram channel that I work out of state. But you guys, let's get down to the meat and potatoes. We have so many things that we're going to be doing. I'm going to take you all behind the scenes with me as we go ahead and we're going to package up the giveaway contents for the giveaway that I did over on my Instagram channel. We are also going to make a quick run to the garden center. We're gonna plant up some containers. So, you guys, this is the area where I like to sit out in my garden and have my cup of tea. What I wanna do is I want to come in and just go through and remove all the remnants of summer from this area in my garden. And then I'ma just give you guys just a little taste of what this area is gonna look like. First, I think, Mm, not sure of the order of how we're going to do everything, but we definitely have a lot of things to get done. So let me get a sip of my tea and then we'll go ahead and we'll start dismantling these containers because, honey, as you see behind me, they are definitely worn. All right, so first things first, I want to start with this container right here. Now, this container definitely gave everything it was supposed to give. During the season, you guys, I really enjoyed it. But now that it's moving into the fall time, since I had so much going on in this area, I'm already envisioning what I would like to do um, for this area for the fall time. So we're going to go ahead and just set the vibe. Now, let's go ahead, start with this container. We're going to do this whole area right here. And well, more than likely, let's do that because I definitely have to get these packages sent out, you guys. And I want to make it to FedEx in a decent time because I don't want to get hit by the rush. But let's go ahead and let's start with these containers. Now, if you guys want to save a little bit of money, what you can do is you can make sure that when you're planting up your containers for the different seasons, you can kind of mix and match because it definitely can get expensive with going in and doing containers year round. So, now, technically, we could leave in this Super Bell, but we're gonna pull this Super Bell out, okay? Sus has to go, like it's no longer needed here. So we're gonna pull this out. Let me go and get my uh, container so I can put everything so I don't have to clean up twice, you know what I'm saying? What I'm gonna do is, I am going to just pull this whole entire container. So here's some yellow ones. I always do a yellow. Alright you guys, so I made it back from the garden center. They had a lot of beautiful plants. 
and I knew exactly where to go to get the selection that I needed. So what I'm about to do is I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to plant up these containers really quick and then I'll go ahead and show you guys how everything looks. I had to pull myself from outside because I have to get these giveaway boxes out to everyone. And I'm so excited to show you guys what we're going to be giving um, for the giveaway. But here's the thing. We have to get these boxes out today. So in order to do that, I had to stop outside because, you know, uh, the shipping place closes at a certain time. Well, my garden is open. I have garden in the dark, you guys. It's been videos that we had to finish in the dark. We intentionally shot a video in the dark last year. Um, so, you know, that's something that's normal for me. But if I get to FedEx and FedEx is closed, I'm not going to be able to get in. And that means that it's going to be a further delay on the giveaway packages. We're going to go ahead and we're going to get these packages all packed up. We'll run ahead. We'll go to FedEx. Then we'll come back. Then we'll go ahead and we'll finish up the containers and I'll show you guys what everything looks like because I don't know about you, but I'm kind of feeling the vibe that's going to be set over there in that area. So um, let's, let me go ahead, run and get some boxes and then we'll set everything up and just knock it out. You know how we do it, baby. the boxes here. Let's go ahead and kind of set up like an assembly line. And so we're going to start first by just putting the boxes together and then we'll go ahead and start stuffing the boxes. That way we can move quick. While I'm assembling these boxes, I want to know uh, what type of giveaways do you guys want to do? We will have more giveaways coming on the channel. So definitely make sure you head over to um, my Instagram page so I can include you guys um, in the giveaway. I like to give away, you know, just stuff that I use in my garden. Once I get the boxes done and assembled, then everything should go real quick from there. Because all we're basically doing is just stuffing the boxes. So one thing I like about FedEx is once you take the stuff in there to them, then they add a gob of tape on top of it to make sure the contents don't fall out. Because I'll definitely be putting insurance on all of these boxes, honey. Every single box will have insurance. Yes, it will. So when they hear you say you want insurance, honey, they get to add just all type of just tape out of nowhere. Even if it don't need tape, honey, they add tape, tape, tape. Alright, so two, four, five boxes. Alright, so now that I have the boxes done, so let me go ahead and show you guys what we're going to be stuffing in these giveaway boxes, okay? giveaway was a lot of times you know I get so many different inboxes asking me how do you have such great success with your containers so one of the things that I thought about and I like to give them as gifts as well is I like to send people with fertilizer because that's one of the things that I find that a lot of people do not do enough is fertilize you guys I cannot stress this enough if you want your plants to perform you're going to have to fertilize 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 so what I like to do is I like to you know tell people what I use so the purpose of the giveaway was to kind of you know just give you guys sometimes you know you have money already invested in a fertilizer program so you don't want to necessarily start with something new when you already have 
you know, perfectly good fertilizer. So I wanted to send out fertilizer to 10 of my Instagram followers. I also mentioned it here on my YouTube page that I was going to be doing a giveaway. And I also said that, um, you know, head on over to my Instagram page. We're doing a giveaway. Now, what I was sending them was a Biotone starter fertilizer and I was also sending them slow release. So in all of my containers that I plant up, this is the regimen that I do without fail. So, you know I couldn't just leave it just like that. So you know me, if you know me, if you know me, if you guys know me, you know, on a personal level, you know how I like to do it. So what I wanted to do was also include and send them home and send them to their home, brother, with a bucket of the Proven Winners Premium Water Soluble Plant Food. So I also included that as well. So they're gonna be getting that in their giveaway boxes. So we just kind of just up the ante. So I was kind of like chasing down, you know, addresses. Hey, I need your address, da da da, this, that, and the third. And I announced it on my stories over on my Instagram page. And so um, I reached out, didn't get their addresses for just two of the people, which is fine because a lot of people, when they enter a giveaway, they don't really necessarily think they're going to win. And so, hey, it is what it is. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to package up those boxes. And so we should get done with this in no time. giveaway boxes ready so the only thing I have left to do is go ahead and print labels I'm going to go ahead and just plant these containers up now here's the thing I think I want to add more than just this one container since we are moving into a different season what I have in mind for this area since this is a different season I think I'm going to add another container on the table I may or may not keep it in place I might pull it I might group it somewhere else, but I'm, I definitely know that I want to use this over here in this area for the season. Now, let me uh, show you guys what container I'm talking about. And so I think I'm going to add this container to give me a little bit of height here. So I'm going to pull this forward, set this. All right, so I'm thinking that I'm going to go with that arrangement right there. Both of these containers have a lot of detailing on them, but not enough to where they're actually competing. I'll move the scooper here. I'm going to go ahead. We're going to plant these containers up and then we'll plant the two flanking on the side.
added a real cute obelisk here and I'm just loving the way it looks like this obelisk just was fit for this container here. And this is a concrete container. If we get in, we look at the pansy. So this is a yellow blotch pansy. And then down here in this container right here, I went ahead and I added a red blotch pansy. But you guys, look at how velvety they look when they first start out. And then as they age, you'll start to see more of this yellow combination. So it ties the two together. So let me go ahead and water these in real quick. Usually what I'll do is when I go in and I water, I'll go ahead and pop my planters down on the floor um, and water everything in and then I'll turn around after everything is watered in the water has drained out I'll put it back on the table Let's go ahead and get the last two planters that we're going to be planted up planted planter planted up we went ahead and just did one full container of red blotch pansies it's going to tie up with the way that we're doing the rest of this area and i can't wait to show you guys that so isn't that just so cute and here's a better example of what they look like i mean oh my god just for days honey i could just sit there and just look at that color So thank you guys for watching. Thank you guys for hanging out with me. And I'll see you guys in the next one.